Hi cellists, this video covers the scales required for ABRSM grade 3 cello and I'm going to start with the scales that you need to play two octaves so there will be scales of D major, F major, G major and D minor so I'll start with D major you're going to need extended position on the bottom two strings and closed position on the top two strings so I'll talk you through the fingering and notes slowly the first finger on the C string is D Extended second finger is E, fourth finger is F sharp, open G string, first, extended second is B, and fourth is C sharp, open D string, first finger is E, third finger in closed position is F sharp, fourth finger is G, open A string, and first finger on the A string is B, Third finger is C sharp, fourth finger is D. Turn back around to third finger and first and open A. Go across to the D string with fourth finger and third finger and first and open D. Go across with an extension to the G string on C sharp with your fourth finger. Second finger is B. sharp on the C string with 4th finger, 2nd finger is E, and 1st finger is D. So here's that a bit quicker, 1st finger on the C string, extended 2nd, and 4th, and open G, and 1st finger, extended 2nd, and 4th finger, and open D string, and 1st finger, close position 3, and 4, Extended fourth, second, first, open G, extended fourth on the C string, and second, and finish with one. And you also need to do that slurred, so here's how to do that. I'd recommend the two notes to a bow being the easiest slurring pack to do for grade three. So that would be like this. Next we'll cover the scale of F major. So now we're going to need to start fourth finger on the C string is F. Go to open G. First finger is A. Second finger is B flat. Fourth finger is C. Open D. First finger is E. Second finger is F. Fourth finger is G. Open A string. Back extension for B flat. Second finger is C, shift forwards on first finger to D, third finger is E, and fourth finger is F. Go back to third, back to first, shift back to first position on second finger, back extension, open A, fourth across on the D string, second, first. Faster, four on the C string, open G, first finger, second finger, fourth, open D, first finger, and second, and fourth, and open A, and back extension on the first finger, second finger, and shift to D, third finger, and fourth, back to three, and one, shift back on second. Extension, open A, fourth on the D 
string, second and first, and on the D, and four on the G string, second on the that slurred two notes to a bow. string is D, third finger is E, fourth finger is F, open G, first finger is A, second finger is B flat, stretch your fourth to get C sharp, open D, first finger is E, C string. Three, four, open G. One, two, stretch four, open D. One, two, four, open A. Back extension. Stretch three and four. Back to three. Thank you. 
here's all of that slurred two notes to a bow. mistake um, with that scale on the way down is forgetting after you've done your extended fourth to get your second finger back for B flat. So make sure you don't accidentally play B natural, make sure you get your extended fourth and back to B flat and so on. Now we'll go on to the one octave scales. So these are A major, C minor, and A minor, and also a chromatic scale in D. So here's A major. I'm going to start with my first finger on the G string, it gives me A. Extended second gives me B. And fourth gives me C sharp. Open D. First is E. Extended second gives me F sharp. Fourth gives me G sharp. First finger on the G, extend second, and fourth, open D, first, extend second, fourth, open A, and back down to extended fourth on the D string, second, first, open, extended fourth on G, second, and first. And here's that slurred two notes to a bow. Start on the C string. First finger is D, second finger is E flat, fourth finger is F. Open G, back extension gives you A flat. Stretch your third to get B and finish with four on C at the top. Go back to third, extend first finger back. Open C string. One on the C string. Second. Fourth. Open G. Back extension. Stretch three. And four. And back to three. Extend backwards. Open G. Fourth on the C. Second. First. And open. And here's that slurred two notes to a bow. Start first finger on the G string is A, third finger is B, fourth finger is C, open D, first finger is E, second finger is F, stretch your fourth finger for G sharp, finish with open A at the top, come back to your G sharp, which is stretch fourth on the E string, two comes back to F. First finger, open D, four on the G string, three, and finish with one. So here's that a bit quicker, one on the G string, three, four, open D, one, two, stretch four, open A, back to your stretch four on the D string, two comes back.
last thing, we need to look at the chromatic scale starting on D. So this is going to move in half steps. We're going to be using first, second and third finger. So you want to start off in half position so that your first finger is going to be on D sharp. And let's go through that. So we're going to do open, half position, first finger on D sharp, second finger is E, third finger is F, shift your first finger forward to find F sharp, second finger is G, you can test yourself at this point, is your second finger now in tune with your open G, third finger is G sharp, open A, Second finger is B, third finger is C, shift forwards on your first finger to find C sharp, finish with second finger on D at the top and you can test yourself here as well. Your second finger there is bang in tune with your D string, then you know that you're still in tune. Now let's go back down again, so we need second finger, first finger is C sharp, come back on. Third finger is C, second finger is B, first finger is A sharp, up and A. Now you're going to have to come forward and find yourself a G sharp with your third finger. Second finger is G, and again I wish still in tune, check with your G string to see if you're still in tune. First finger is F sharp. Third finger comes back to half position on F. Second finger is E. First finger is D sharp. And finish with open D. So here's all of that a little bit quicker. We have open D. First finger in half position. Second. Third. Shift forwards on your first finger. Second. Third. on your first and finish with second on D at the top. Turn back round, first finger, shift back to half position on your third finger, second, first, open A, shift forwards and find G sharp on your third finger and first finger, come back on your third finger to half position, second, first and finish with open. And here's that without me Saying anything? And that's all the scales you'll need for your ABRSN Grade 3 cello. I hope that they help and happy practicing.